guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have a homeschooling video for you guys, something I really haven't done much of before, but I've been getting some requests of people that wanted to see flip throughs of some of the BJU curriculum that we use. Now we use English, science, and history for my youngest, and my oldest uses their history. So today I'm gonna to be doing the English for my youngest just because I love their English program the most. And it was the first BJU Press homeschool curriculum that we ever tried. And it's really what got me hooked on it and made me want to try the other subjects. A little bit of a different type of video and a different style of video than I've done in the past, but I think it's going to be really useful to you guys, especially if you are a new homeschooler. So many people now are homeschooling that have never done it before for various reasons, but I think we all know the main reason that a lot of people don't want to send their kids back to school in the fall and they really have no idea where to start. You don't have to choose a curriculum that costs as much as BJU Press does. It's not the cheapest curriculum that you're gonna find, it's not. But in my opinion, it is worth every penny because it is so thorough, so comprehensive, so gentle for the student and for the teacher, parent, um, that I think it's worth it. And I definitely made it a priority to pay for because I think it is worth it. So basically what I have up here is the English for Teacher's Manual and the Student Workbook. This is the core of what you need for the curriculum. A lot of people ask me, do I need the teacher's manual? And I talked about that in my Why We Love BJU Press homeschool video I did a few weeks ago. You don't have to have it, but I definitely feel like you would be doing yourself a disservice and you'd be making your job a lot harder if you didn't have it. And I'll show you why in a minute, but it, I think it's really important and I would not try to teach it without the teacher's manual. But your child will need the workbook that's the main part that you need. Teacher's manual, student workbook. Then there are other options you can purchase and everything you can purchase individually if you want to. There is a test booklet you have to purchase separately if you want it. There's also the test booklet answer key to be purchased separately. If you plan on giving your child the test, you're gonna want the answer key unless you're planning on grading them all yourself. So everything can be purchased individually or you can buy it as a bundle. And I like that because it really gives you the option to customize what you're interested in using and what you're not, or based on your budget, maybe you can't afford even the extra little bit that's gonna cost you to get the tests and the answer key. Maybe this is all you can afford. Then just stick with this. But they do give you the option of getting the tests if you want. You also can take that a step further. If you don't want to teach it yourself and you don't wanna have the teacher's manual and you don't wanna be involved in it at all, you can also pay extra for the online lessons or there's actually, I think still the DVD lessons you can purchase. It's quite a bit more expensive. It is an option for you. We do that with history and science, but then I actually teach English. So um, it's an option. If you have it in your budget or, and, or you don't wanna teach the subject, definitely look into the distance learning option. With BJU Press Homeschool, um, it is available to you if you decide that you wanna go that route. This is obviously the, the traditional method where you have teacher's manual and you're teaching the lesson. So, spiral bound notebook, pretty large. There's a lot of information in here. What I like about the BJU Press English curriculum is it alternates a chapter of writing and a chapter of grammar. So you don't have to purchase a separate writing program. You don't have to purchase a separate grammar program. It's all in this curriculum and it alternates every week. So you're doing something different every week. So chapter one, the entire chapter is about sentences. Chapter two is your writing chapter. So you're writing a personal narrative. Chapter three is nouns. Chapter four is writing a friendly letter with instructions. Super important to learn how to write a letter. Chapter five is verbs. Chapter six is writing a compare and contrast essay. Chapter seven, study and reference skills. Chapter eight, writing a book review. Pronouns, writing a tall tale more verbs, so you've got past tense verbs, irregular verbs, helping verbs, writing a research report, adjectives and adverbs, writing a business letter, phrases and clauses for chapter 15, and chapter 16 is writing poetry. So 16 chapters, and it may seem like, well, that's not gonna take very long, but each chapter is fairly lengthy, um, and so it may take you a week, two weeks, maybe even longer, depending on if your child is struggling or not. So one thing I love about BJU Press Homeschool and I love about their teacher's manual, which I think it is important to have, is the supplemental material. The entire back of the book, you have a bunch of different supplemental material. First thing is you have a thesaurus. So if you don't have a thesaurus already in your bookshelf, you can look back here and use, find a lot of different synonyms for words that your child might need. You also have a little worksheet of the writing process and they go into detail about the different steps of the writing process. All this stuff back here, you've even got abbreviations for all the states, the months, titles of people, days of the week. So all these are things you can keep and use them as you want, or you can tear these out and give them to your child to put in a folder or something so they have access to it. 
prefixes and suffixes, contractions, homophones. There's also some little songs here in the back. So if you're learning about adjectives or adverbs or pronouns, you can come back here and find the song and sing it to your child and help them remember different parts of speech. My favorite part of the teacher's manual, and I talked about this in that video about why we love BJU Press, this little disc right here is really helpful if you are needing extra practice. So let's say your child is working with adjectives and they need a lot more practice with with adjectives. You can find, you can put this disc in and find extra worksheets to print out for more practice. So coming back to the front, you've got your lesson plan. So this is the lesson plan for chapter one. It's broken up into, it's broken up into lesson, the topic, the teacher's edition pages, any materials you might need to gather. We don't usually do that a whole lot. Um, we don't, we don't really do anything extra in this kind of category, but if you were going to do any of the activities they suggest, they do tell you what to go ahead and get ready ahead of time, and then the objectives. So you really have an idea right here at a glance kind of how you're breaking up each lesson in this chapter. Okay, so this is an example of a lesson in one of the chapters. This is the sentences and fragments lesson. What I love about this teacher's manual is it's so helpful to somebody who doesn't really know how to teach whatever the subject is. So it tells you exactly what to say, what to do, and it even gives you the answer. So I'm gonna write some sentences for display and it's gonna tell me what to write. And then it, I'm supposed to ask, who is the first sentence about the child is supposed to answer Megan? What is Megan? And then the child is supposed to answer a fourth grader. So it tells you literally everything to ask and everything you should expect your child to say. It also shows you an exact picture of what your child is looking at in their student workbook. So when my daughter is sitting at her desk working out of her workbook, I can see exactly what she's looking at. I can see what she can read up here. I can see her questions. I can tell you what the answer should be. So whether she's doing it with me verbally or she's gonna write them down or I'm gonna grade them later, I've got the answers exactly what should be uh, correct on this page. And that really is helpful for me because I'm able to help her and guide her and do her work with her without having to stand over her shoulder. And again, every single page is like this. You're gonna see what your student is looking at every single time you have a new lesson. So when you finish the lesson, you get to your chapter one review. Now, this is why you may or may not decide to purchase the extra test booklet. You're gonna have a review here in the student workbook. If you decide though that you want to do an actual test, you can purchase the test separately, but you don't have to. We do choose to because I like having that extra little bit of um, test taking skills and giving a, a, getting a better idea of if she's really grasped the concept. Um, but you don't have to because you do have a review here included in the student workbook. So chapter one, you saw there was a chapter one review. Chapter two, there's also a chapter two review and beyond you're gonna also have a cumulative review. So it's gonna be a cumulative review, kind of a grab bag of things from chapter one and chapter two. Same thing with chapter three. You're gonna have your chapter three review about things that were just done in that chapter. And then you're gonna have the cumulative review, which is a, again, a grab bag of things that have been done in the previous three chapters. So you're really getting a lot of an idea of what your child learned and remembered in this lesson, but also what they have remembered from previous lessons. So I think they're both really important. You so if I was gonna say there's any one thing in particular that maybe you don't need or have to have, it would be the test booklet and the test answer key because you do have the chapter reviews and the cumulative reviews. Back. You do have a softback student workbook. It's got the holes in it and it is perforated. So if you decide you want to pull them out and put them in a binder, you can, or you can leave them in the workbook like this, or you can put the workbook in a binder. So you've got a couple options. Okay, so an example of a lesson with her is, this is lesson 81, singular and plural nouns. So what I will do is I'll go through all this with her, I'll read the questions or ask her the questions, have her answer, we talk about it, and then I'm able to look at what she's looking at right here. And I go through, we talk about her pronoun and give the examples they talk about. And then I say, okay, go ahead and do this top part on your own. She'll do the top part on her own in her workbook while I wait, and then we go over her answers. That way, if she misses anything, I can correct it right then. Same thing with this section. I say, okay, go ahead and do the next section. I wait for her to finish. We talk about it together. If I really feel like she has got it down pat, we don't do anything else. If I feel like she needs extra practice, I go ahead and assign her this next page in her workbook as independent work for that day. So after I'm done with her for the day and she's doing all of her independent work, I will assign her this and then I'll grade it and then we'll go over it the next day. So again, answers to whatever she does right here is in my teacher's manual. 
If I still feel like even after that she needs extra practice, that's when you can put the disc in from the teacher's manual and you have even another page of extra practice um, that she can do to really make sure that she's understanding any corrections we've made and getting it right going forward, if that makes sense. And that's one reason why I chose BJU Press English over the good and the beautiful for younger kids. I have not used their younger levels every single day, so I'm not gonna say that I have. But from looking at all of the samples on their website, and they're all available on there, I didn't feel like there was enough practice to really grasp a concept before it moved on to something else. That's just my perspective of what I saw of their curriculum. Now, we do use their curriculum for my oldest daughter's language arts, and it's fine. But I feel like for younger kids, when they're really learning these, these concepts of pronouns and regular verbs and helping verbs and adjectives and adverbs, I really feel like they need a lot of continuous practice before you move on to something else. I didn't see that with The Good and the Beautiful, but I do see that with BJU Press, and I do think it's important, and I love that about it. So for that reason alone, I think it's a great reason to choose BJU Press because there is as much practice as you could possibly want. Um, but if not, you can definitely breeze on through with whatever is easy for your kids, but I think it's important to have that option. So that is pretty much the BJU Press English curriculum for you guys. As much as I can say without going literally page by page, I think you get a good idea of the different topics that are covered. And a lot of what I've noticed so far between English 3 and English 4 is it's the same material, but it's beefed up a little bit. So chapter one in English 3 with sentences, that's nothing new. So it's gonna be a review if your kids maybe need a review, but it's also building a little bit on what they learned in the previous level. So you're getting review, but you're also building on that and kind of continuing on. So that's kind of what I've noticed. Um, and I love that they alternate between grammar and writing, grammar and writing. So you're not getting burned out doing grammar every single day or writing every single day. Um, I think it's really great that it alternates. So you get everything you need in one curriculum. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure you ask and I will do my best to answer them. Like I said, their English program is my favorite program that we use of them. If you guys want to see the flip through kind of like I did with this for their science for grades four and or five, and if you want to see their history for grade four and their history for high school, definitely let me know so that I can do those for you guys really soon um, because I know a lot of people are shopping for curriculum right now and are really wanting to get an idea of what's good and what's out there. BJU Press Homeschool is definitely a great, great curriculum. Please make sure if you want to see any of those other flip through videos like this one that you give this video a thumbs up so that I know to make more. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and check out my homeschooling playlist. It's linked for you in the description box. Every video I've ever made about homeschooling is in that, in that playlist and there's tons of them. I think you'll find lots of really helpful information. So make sure you check it out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.